Hi, this is Paul, and this is another, the next in the series of Ninja Trader platform educational uh, videos, tutorials. And this time we're going to talk about stops. I'm going to use the ATM strategy to do that, but it's just a very basic version. Um, this, I'm in this trade right now. It's a short trade, uh, and I'm looking to, I'm, you know, I'm short, but I want to put a stop on here. It's not as easy as it as you you would like on normal platforms. I've already had the trade down here short break in this uh, thing here and you can see here and I'm going to try and leave this on the chart in, uh, in a little while is that I made a profit on that short but now I'm in another short and what I've got to do first is uh, one of the things you can set up on your chart traders before you get in any chart in a trades you go to where my cursor is now I hover over it says chart trader click on the chart trader in the middle there so it puts it on the chart you see ATM strategy where my cursor is on that right there. So these are the ones where we can just set um, a profit target and uh, a stop loss target. Again, very, very basic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to custom. This is how you make a new one. So click the down arrow, click on custom. Now, order quantity two is the first thing you do. So if, if you generally trade two contracts of the micros, for example, that would be order two. The parameter type is ticks because trading futures. TIF, good till close. Quantity two goes into here. Now stop loss, this is where we want to say, right, this is our average, but we can adjust it when it's on the chart, and that's what we want to do. So I'm just going to put the stop loss at 20 ticks because our parameter is 20 ticks. I'm going to put the profit at 20 ticks. So this is a 2020. Uh, Everything else, don't about you know, don't click more stop strategy. Nothing. Just do the basics. This is just get a stop and a profit on your chart, and you can adjust it when it's on the chart. Save as template. Now we're going to put twenty ticks PNL just as a name. You can call it anything you want. And you save that as template. Okay, so that's now saved. What we want to do next is if we've got an open position, so you go back to your main console here, go to positions, you can see this position's open right now. What I'm going to do is right click on that position, apply ATM strategy. The one I've just made is 20 ticks. Click on that, and there is your stop and you'll take profit. Now, that's quite tight. I want that above that pivot. So if I just click and drag that up there, click again it adjusts the stop okay if I want to look left and see that there's some support down here and maybe I want to trade it down to that sort of level I can click on the limit order to take my profit just once drag it to where I want to take profit around about there and click again so I can adjust it on the chart and that's the beauty of this is once the orders are on you can you can change that so again it's very very simple use ticks Put it at 30, 40 ticks, so it's way out of the way to begin with, and then just click and adjust. Very, very simple. And then when you come to managing this trade, it becomes very, very simple in that click and adjust again. So if I wanted to go risk free, for example, I could click that stop, bring it down just below the entry, click again, and it would take me out of that trade at that point. I don't want to do that right now. Um, you know, I'm two contracts in this micro and I'm looking for it to hit this uh, profit target there. So again, profit targets and stops are very, very easy to set. Uh, this is just the five minute opening range breakout that we, we trade a lot, uh, you know, on, on NinjaTrader and lots of the different platforms. This is what it looks like. Uh, if you don't, if you think actually this thing's going to run and you don't want to take profit until it goes down here and you actually want to manage your trade uh, with the manager for example you can click this move it down to the top of the previous days uh, gold range opening range and click there for example so that's way down that gives you time you know we're 12 ticks in profit right now that gives you options to um, not take the profit too early and manage the trade with the stop just in case you get a runner okay uh, there are lots of options but the, the thing is that makes it easy is it's just a matter of setting that ATM strategy up uh, just out out of range of where your stop would be and then you can click and adjust the same with the profit 
um, but once you've made that template it's very simple to add that when your trade goes in the previous video we talked about stop limit orders and I'll put a link in the description of this video um, and there's a stop limit order that got me into this short right now uh, and then following that the immediate action is to put a stop on and I would use that ATM strategy that I'd always put on there and again when you look on the right here when I click down I've got 20 25 30 ticks you know they're the ones that I've already preset so as soon as a trade goes in I can click one of those uh, using this main um, panel here for your open positions you right click and you can apply the ATM strategy there very very simple very quick uh, and I probably the simplest way to do it the next video that I'm going to make is to talk about um, how to set up sort of straddle trades uh, so you, you, you've got a range and if it, if it goes up above that range you want to buy if it goes below that range you want to uh, sell that sort of thing using uh, this ATM strategy and, and other uh, solutions so hopefully that helps just a quick educational video uh, for the ninja trader brokerage uh, trading platform and again I'm still learning this is new to me um, and every time I make a video is uh, something I've learned and I'm trying to progress so so traders can build up a knowledge of how to put trades on adjust stops put stops on uh, profits and all that sort of thing uh, and just build up those those strategies and and it's about muscle memory as well so you can just watch this video a few times again while you're trialing this if you're a new trader use sim use a simulated account just to get used to putting that trade on or just in those stops you don't want to make mistakes when you're getting used to this using real money so hopefully that helps speak to you really soon